Some of the pieces, like Particle Falls, are, as I said, about this thing being present over a long period of time and people kind of getting used to it and engaging with it. I, I, I definitely am not interested in a kind of there's this, <laughs> they, they kind of call it the chicken dance <laughs> phenomenon with interactive art, where you know you stand in front of a piece of interactive art and do this chicken dance. You know, I'm definitely not interested in <laughs> getting people to do the chicken dance. I mean, that's fun, but um, <laughs> um, but yeah, something with a, that kind of over time people's perceptions can can change or their views can change. But you know, other pieces, more recent work that I've been doing. I've been experimenting with putting art, um, putting a, making art and uh, the work and experience that lasts over a kind of a longer period of time or is, is in an unusual setting. So I have, um, my research group um, and I are working on, I have this piece called um, The Bioethics of Beer and it's a kind of a science fiction adventure that happens through text message. And it ha it's designed to happen in, in the evenings in bar settings and people can kind of do things and then um, if they if they do things in a certain way um, it's not exactly a game but if they do things in a certain way they can get a, a coupon for um, like half price on a, on a local beer and it's about promoting local products and uh, teaching people a little bit about um, the the um, microbiology that goes into beer making and um, and how that can also be low and how that's lo localized or can be localized um, so that's a different kind of goal but I guess I guess there's similarities there are that the idea that it's not someone deciding to go to a gallery or to go to a museum and experience an artwork. It's more looking at the situation of what happens when someone is encountering an artwork in a, in a different kind of setting. Um, and I think that's an, an important thing to think about. I think there's certainly responsibility on the part of the artist in, in that kind of setting as well. Because people don't, you know, you're, you're showing something to, you're giving someone an experience that they didn't necessarily choose to have. Um, but of course they don't necessarily choose to have the experience of breathing in lots of particulate pollution. <laughs>